I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News Update. If you wanted your teen to get a vaccine, well, now is the time. Right now, all Marylanders 16 and older are eligible. But with the recent incident with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, getting everyone the doses they need has become a lot more difficult. At what many consider the state's best-run mass vaccination site in Timonium, Baltimore County administered 5,000 single-dose vaccines in a single day. But now they will have to shift to a little over 5,800 shots of Pfizer this week to try and maintain its momentum. We have been notified, this is the bad news part, uh, that uh, the reduction, we saw a reduction of about 80,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson in this coming week. Um, that, that's going to continue uh, likely for another couple of weeks. The state reports almost one out of four Marylanders have now been fully vaccinated. Well, one of the victims in that shooting near the Fort Detrick area needs your help. A Navy medic shot two sailors, Casey Nutt and Carlos Portugal, last week. Nutt was treated and released from the hospital. Portugal is still in critical condition. His family created a GoFundMe to help with the medical cost. A link to the page is now at WMER2news.com. Barks needs your help to care for three pups in desperate need of medical attention. Nokai, Milton, and Rainbow are in the hospital in critical condition. They were found along the two other pups inside a broken down car. Vets diagnosed them with a deadly illness. Unfortunately, the two other dogs didn't make it. Their medical care is too expensive for Barks to take on a loan. So if you'd like to donate, we have a link on our website at WMER2news.com. I'm tracking cloudy skies for the start of your Tuesday with some chilly numbers. Talking about in the upper 40s across most of the state. The good news, those clouds will start to break as we head into the afternoon, and that's going to allow for the numbers to get a little bit more comfortable. Getting towards 60 degrees as we head into the afternoon, where daytime highs will crest near 65 degrees in the city, 63 in Bel Air and Elkton, 64 in Chestertown, 62 out in Westminster. And as we head into your Wednesday, you want the umbrella on standby, especially as we head closer to lunchtime. Showers move in and linger through Thursday as cooler air arrives on Friday. Things dry out just in time for the weekend where highs are in the mid 60s. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.